foreign students don't leave school prepared to enter the, the university or the working world. The very important objective of the Virginia program is to ensure that the students are able to understand the, the university life. It's, it's about knowing what the, how to access the right careers and how to get the information. So that's a core objective of the Virginia program is the career guidance aspect. So they don't often receive a lot of career guidance before they get to SAEP. It's, it's a large part of what the Virginia program is, making sure that they fully understand the different study paths and what they would actually entail. Um, and then that they've applied to the universities timelessly, that they've uh, applied for the funding that they need, that they've you know, made sure that they have attended all the university open days um, and spoken to all the correct people. So yeah, it's, it's sort of making sure that everyone is prepared for the next step. Nobody spoke to us about university or what options were out there. You know, you could either be a teacher, a nurse, if you were lucky. Because a lot of students, when they are doing their first years, they actually don't know what exactly they are doing. What subject should they be taking to do a particular course in university? So SAP gives students the opportunity to ask more about the courses they want to do in tertiary institutions. People don't have this broad picture of the many, many, many different things that they could do after school um, and the many different paths that you might take to get there. So, so a big component is that exploration of the different career options and developing their own action plans, you know, doing the research on which tertiary institutions and courses they might qualify for, um, going over that with our career guidance counselor to see if those are the best fits, um, going through the application process, supporting one another through that. So now, since we are improving our marks, so they also help us to do our application for tertiaries. In Cape Town, we have a very complicated application process. Every student has to apply to a set of universities that they're interested in. Um, and so all the, all the applications have different application deadlines. Um, often very high status professions like medicine and law have much earlier application deadlines. There's also uh, financial aid that students have to apply for. There's national benchmark tests that they have to apply with their results to get into universities. And there's minimum grades that they need to understand getting um, in order to apply for certain courses that the students might be interested in. There's a lot of support that goes on into making sure that our, our students are much more successful than um, an average student ending up at university. Making sure that we're keeping up with their grades so that we understand how they're doing at university. We're looking at um, when their grades are dropping, how we support them uh, to make sure that they don't drop out of university. And also when they need to change courses, they need to understand how to do that without obviously getting kicked out of university completely. And they also, also help with you to adapt at the tertiary because since we are going to tertiary, so maybe there, there will be a lot of a temptations, you know, so we have to be able to overcome those things. 